and colleagues, OMA members, distinguished management of the Amandi Group of Company, Nananum, our friends from the media, my colleague, junior officers as well, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I have a very single task, and that is to welcome all of you to today's function. And I do so on behalf of every single police officer, our spouses, and our children, because today is a very special day. It's historic in every sense of it. And we feel very emotional, very touched, very refreshed. And all what we can say is to use this to welcome His Excellency the President, Nana Adudankwa Akufuado, in a special way. Mr. President, you are welcome. And also, to let you know, Mr. President, that when we came here this morning and we went around, and engaging the people who have come here to witness this function. Almost everybody was mesmerized by what they have seen. And it is all because of you. What a legacy, Mr. President, what a legacy. But in order to put it in context, Mr. President, let me highlight a few of the many legacies since your assumption of office you have bestowed on the police service and also to us both from the perspective of law enforcement and our welfare. The first one, Mr. President, is to look at the volume of logistics you have provided to us, prominent among them, vehicles including over 4,000 motorbikes spread across the length and breadth of this country. Mr. President, that is historic, and it is one of your legacies that will be forever grateful. The next one, Mr. President, is where we've been able to deploy policing to the doorsteps of communities which have never seen policing, such that now police has come so close to the doorsteps of the communities and the members of the communities in such a way that it has affected the dynamics of crime in this country and Ghana has become one of the most peaceful countries in the world. What is even important is that beyond the traditional units that we have in the system, Mr. President, through your initiative and leadership, we've been able to establish 181 regional form police units made up of an average of 35 police officers with vehicles and motorbikes dotted in a network fashion across the country. Where communities we have never seen policing, where roads, where armed robbers were disturbing, all these places have been covered and working in unison with other security agencies, we can say that Ghana is at peace with itself when it comes to security. Mr. President, all because of you. Mr. President, the third one, is to do with police professionalism. As you see us today sitting and running around, we are all in one uniform, called uniform uniformity, something that eluded us for years, and on your watch, it has happened. Our engagement with communities, with the members of the public, has improved. Our courtesies towards them have improved, and our professionalism has gotten to the level that, unlike the past, where every other day, you see one story or the other negative in a sense, one insult or unpalatable printed, unprintable words against the police. All these things are gradually giving way to a professionalism that has never been seen before. Mr. President, your legacy. Mr. President, when it comes to welfare, I'll mention just two. The first one is the establishment of their families enjoying them. Mr. President, that is one of your legacies. We are happy. Mr. President, the last one, there are many, but for want of time and seeing today, it's not the first. The first one, the major one, in addition to all what you have done across the country, is the Domingo Abrinha one, which you commissioned yourself. And now, 
the second phase of that is also ongoing and that is historic and we will forever be grateful now I'm coming to this we are still trying to recover from the shock we've had in terms of looking at the quality of the room the space available and everything that goes with it mr. president we want to tell you that it's not about us anymore it's about our spouses it's about our children and together with them we say thank you very much for making us also look good and committed to the work. In concluding, Mr. President, we want to say that we are thankful. But we don't want our thank you to be in words. We want it to be in deeds. And being this, we want it to be seen by all, witnessed by all, so that in our quest to becoming the best institution in the country and a reference point for the rest of the world will come to pass. And we know with you and with your support and the support of your government, we will be able to lay the foundation in such a way that it will be unstoppable in terms of achieving that goal. So what are we committed to, Mr. President? We are committed to going the extra mile to show our appreciation to you by working with the rest of the security agencies to ensure that there is peace, security, law, and order, especially during this election year. And that, Mr. President, we can assure you, we will leave no stone in ten, on ten in getting to that destination. And as we do that, Mr. President, we want to assure you two other things. That we will do this by building and not destroying. And we will do this by uniting within our ranks, within the police service, within our ranks, across the other security agencies, and also across all stakeholders, and we will unite without dividing. And when we do all this, and we are able to deliver the elections in a manner that has never happened before in terms of peace and security. Ghana will continue to be said to be a slave regular for the rest of Africa. So Mr. President, it is on this note that I humbly, on behalf of every single police officer, on behalf of every single spouse of a police officer, on behalf of every child of a police officer, to say Mr. President, and even to some extent, on behalf of our extended family, to thank you very much for being a legacy president. I thank you very much, and you are most welcome. Legacy president. These historic messages are live on GTV from the contractors who have stayed on this ground for many months, making sure that they build to quality standards and they build to those that will warm the hearts of these police officers and their families, as has been articulated by the Inspector General. Good morning, everyone. His Excellency, the President of the Republic, Nanado Dankwa Kufuado, Honorable Minister of Works and Housing, Honorable Minister of the Interior, Inspector General of the Police, Chiefs, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is with great honor and pride that I stand here today to mark another successful and significant milestone in our journey. Today, as we commissioned the 320 new homes for the Ghana Police Service, we realize the unwavering commitment to those who dedicate their lives to our safety and peace. I'm proud. On my way, On my way here, I watched again the video that was published by the Ministry of Works and Housing ahead of this event, and I was filled with satisfaction. As the video captures the development in a perfect view, with all its glory and beauty, I must thank Kweku for the work on the artwork is done. It encompasses the immense efforts put in by the workers, supervisors, managers, and other stakeholders in this project. It showcases that though 320 families will live here, each of them will have their own privacy, they will have higher quality of living, and from the events in the community center to exercising in sports complex to relaxing in the gardens after a long day. For us as the contractor of this project, it has been a, a testament to what can be achieved when determination, collaboration, and shared vision come together. Our teams have worked tirelessly to ensure that these homes are not just structures of brick and mortar. 
but spaces where our police officers and their families can find comfort, security, and true sense of community. This project is part of the Security Forces Housing Project, the SFH, and we thank you, Mr. President, for giving us another opportunity to prove our capacity and expertise. As we continue our journey, we hope to be able to deliver more projects like this. To the members of the Ghana Police uh, Service, who will be moving in very soon, welcome home. Remember these new homes are for you. Keep them clean, maintain them well, to enable you and your families enjoy them for a long time. In closing, I would like to extend my heart te heartfelt thanks to everyone who played a role in bringing this project to fruition. To our dedicated Amanti team. We are tough man. Your Excellency, good people of Ghana, in a previous conversation with the Inspector General of Police, he mentioned to me his high levels of excitement at the purchase of three brand new helicopters to enhance Henry Quarter. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic, Nana Adodankro Ekufuato, who also is the Commander in Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Colleague, Honorable Ministers here present, Members of Parliament here present, Municipal Chief Executive Officers here present, the Mayor of Aka, Special Advisor to the Ministry of the Interior, Chief Directors, Heads of Security Agencies, Police Management Board, otherwise known as POMA, Officers and Men, Messrs. Amandi Holding Limited, Friends from the Media, Nime, Name, Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, all protocol observed. And I say a very good morning to all of you. As a president, indeed, it is my pleasure to be part of this historic occasion, which is the commissioning of housing units for the Ghana Police Service. Mr. President, your government has shown commitments in resourcing the Ghana Police Service, enabling the effective discharge of their mandate of maintaining law and order and providing safe and secure neighborhoods and communities. Again, under your government, over the last seven years, the police service has seen massive retooling by you ensuring that logistics, including or which includes vehicles, motorbikes, many equipment for the work service. As a president, on behalf of the Interior Ministry and the Ghana Police Service, I'm proud to indicate that not only is your government committing in providing, showing commitment in providing vehicles, motorbikes, and equipment to the institution. It has also demonstrated and continues to show interest. Of welfare of our police service police officers and their families. One aspect of the welfare of officers that government is paying good attention to is the provision of more than the recent residential accommodation. In this direction, government over the period is steadily increasing housing stock of the service with more than and comfortable houses. The President, last year, your government provided the Ghana Police Service 
with a total of 516 molding housing units built under phases one and two of the security services housing projects through private partnership at Kwadriya. Under this arrangement, government provided 434 one-bedroom apartments and 82 two-bedroom apartments. Today, what we are witnessing is the commissioning of the Security Services Housing Project Phase 3 for the Ghana Police Service, which involves 320 housing units made up of 112 two-bedroom apartments and 208 three-bedroom apartments. Other facilities in this housing complex includes kindergarten, a social center, a multi-purpose sporting facility, and two 50 kilowatts generating power plants. There are similar arrangements initiated by your governments to provide more modern office and residential accommodation in other parts of the country, including Tema, Kumasi, and Wa. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic, we want to thank you for your leadership and support in making this project a reality. May I also extend my appreciation to the Minister of Works and Housing, the contractor Amadi Holdings, the Ghana Police Service, and other stakeholders who have contributed to this achievement. So, President, on your behalf, I want to urge all police officers and other security agencies to continue to work hard to keep our country safe and prosperous. IJP, I remember when we commissioned the Dombi Pabinia housing units, I made this strong appeal to you, and I shall repeat, say it here. Oftentimes, you go to police, police bars and you see antennas hanging around the building. Fridges, freezers, bicycles, all manner of things. With IGP, I want to appeal to you to ensure that this building does not see those type of uh, things that we see in police barracks. Let's maintain the discipline, let's maintain the sanity, sanitation of the place and keep it as it is. The President, I have a conversation with the Chief Fire Officer and the IGP and uh, it has been decided that uh, a fire station will be placed in the police depot here so that they can attend to emergencies. Woo! So, President, on this note, I want to thank you very much. And like the IGP said, undoubtedly, you have made the security intelligence agencies stronger, stronger, visible, well equipped, well retooled, and this legacy forever and ever shall remain in the minds of Ghanaians many, many years to come. Mr. President, Aiko, thank you very much. God bless us all.